This video does contain a strobe light, so if you are prone to seizures, please do not watch this video. Now, if you've ever watched a video or a TV show that has a car in it and the wheels appear to be spinning backwards, you are witnessing the wagon wheel effect. We're going to explore what's happening through this demo. Here we have a fan that is coated in glow and dark paint, and the fan's motion is never changing, but it does appear to be. The only thing that is changing is the speed of the strobe light. We can change how fast or slow the strobe light flashes. And if you listen, you can hear like a ticking or a rattling. Uh, that is the sound of the light flashing on and off very quickly, and you can hear that rate change throughout the video. So a movie is just basically a bunch of pictures uh, that are taken really fast, kind of like a flip book. And each of those pictures we refer to as a frame. So each frame of a, of a movie is a picture. Now different things record at different frame rates. Your phone typically records at 30 frames per second, which means that every second it takes 30 pictures when you're recording a video. In the demo, when the strobe light flashes, we can see the fan for a quick moment. But when the light turns off, it still spins, we just can't see it. Every time the light flashes, we are seeing a frame of the fan. And you'll notice that the fan, while spinning clockwise, appears to move counterclockwise in the frames, and that's the part that we see. So while the fan is spinning clockwise, we interpret it as spinning counterclockwise because of the frames that we are able to see. This is what causes the wagon wheel effect. So we're going to watch it again, and I want you to listen to the sound of the strobing light to notice the changes in the frequency, and also notice that it looks like the fan stops at one point. What's happening here is that the flashes are happening at the same time that the blades have a chance to get into the same position as the previous frame. So essentially we're not seeing any kind of motion because it looks like they're just staying in place. Now you can do this at home too. You will need a fan, a smartphone, a strobe light app for your phone, and a dark room. The blades were painted with a glow-in-the-dark paint which makes this effect much better, but it can be done pretty decently without the paint. Ask your teacher for more information and most of all, please be careful. Thanks for watching.